We continue with the latest in a WMBF News investigation where experts are weighing in on the latest turn in a long saga around a notorious Grand Strand eyesore. Our Ali Espinosa shares those reactions with us and breaks down the next steps for both that property and its owner. Right, there are people coming in at late hours of the night, like homeless people, drug, drug addicts. You know, we've already shown we're in for the long haul. We'll do it again. You've really got multiple cases going on simultaneously. As far as the number I've been there, I just, it's numerous times. Neighbors, police officers, and even the 15th Circuit solicitor himself weighing in tonight on the new permanent injunction against Myrtle Beach's infamous Yellow House. We told you yesterday a judge ordered the home to shut its doors for at least a full year following a long legal battle over its status as a neighborhood nuisance. Even though folks on Fifth Avenue North won't have to worry about the house's history of crime and violence until next winter, some neighbors tell us the damage has already been done. But I'm moving because of it. Yeah. Oh, you're actually moving? Yes. Because of the home? Yeah, I'm moving because there's too much activity going on that I don't want to be around. Some, like Fabian Brown, want to see the city demolish the home for good. Some things city officials tell me is still on the table, but won't be an easy process. So I know Construction Services has been looking at it. Um, I know we're not at this point to that, to that level of, you know, trying to demolish it, but right. that, that's... That, that's a, a remedy that's out there that's, that exists in city ordinance. It's now up to Myrtle Beach police to monitor the home and make sure no one violates the court's ruling or trespasses. I'm told the city will also give the Yellow House's homeowner time to bring the house up to code before looking at any potential demolition. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.